Hi, this is part one of the three-part video series that talks about how we design and make the ring radiometer AM crystal radio. Stay on for the rest of the parts uh, that I will release here. Thank you. Hi everyone, this is Billy. Today I want to show you a 3D designed crystal radio. This one. I have uh, shared this on Facebook and some quick videos, updates on YouTube. And today I'm going to show you how to make it step by step. So if you like my video, click like, subscribe and send to your friends to watch too. And I also need your help to support my work. So there's a number of ways you can support my work. Let's check out the description. Let me show you the feature of this crystal radio. It's all designed using Fusion 360 and it's printed using PLA filaments in my 3D printer, Ender 3 Pro. And I designed it to have engraving so you can see the names. And I use these screws as terminals for the antennas. There are two antennas. One is for the short antenna, the other one for the long antenna, and then the ground. So that when I go out for a field test, I can just use this telescopic antenna that has the same M4 screws and I can screw them into, fasten them into this and then start listening on the wild when I do field testing. So this is very convenient. For the diode, I put it in a fuse tube I also printed this fuse tip um, transparent ones using my 3D printer. I will share how you can make it yourself too. And these are the fuse tip stands that you can get. Because I'm doing this uh, variometer crystal radio, the range may not cover the entire AM broadcast. So I need a band switch here to go to the upper band or lower band and at the back of it, I connect them to two capacitors, two different fixed capacitor. One is around 750 PF, the other one around 300 PF. These fixed capacitors are very special. They are the high Q fixed capacitors. Uh, they are manufactured by the company called ATC. And uh, the Q value is more than 10,000. So it will help to compensate for some of the uh, less lower quality components of the circuit. So when you look at the, uh, the design, this is the ferric core. This material is R40C1. And I cut it in a bit more than half. I think uh, half of the ring has 180 degree, right? So I, I think I did 220 degree when I cut uh, the ring. So it get a little bit more, so we can get a bit more inductance. And also when it get a little bit more, it can uh, get itself aligned better with this curved tube that we use to wind the coil. So when we wind the coil, we wind using leash wire. Uh, this one has 60 tiny threads. Each thread is around 0 0.04 millimeter and it's all insulated. And this way we can increase the efficiency of the coil uh, because there's a thing called the uh, skin effect. That means the high frequency signal will always run to the top or the surface of the conductor. So that means the more surface area you have in your conductor, uh, the less resistance for high frequency and hence the higher quality, higher Q value of your coil. So we, we better use this type of list wires. Um, this one is 60 tiny wires, each of 0 0.04 millimeter. You can also use uh, the magnet wire or laminated wire um, there are copper wire, hardcore copper wire. Um, but you, if you use that, you need to choose a thicker wire, like 
four or point five millimeter thick. Um, otherwise, the quality will be lowered. There are three types of detectors you can use. Of course, this diode that I put into the fuse tube. Can you see? It's a diode inside. This one is 1SS106. And you can use uh, a crystal as well. Just put the crystal in the uh, fuse tube. I've got one, let me show you. Look at this. This is a tiny fuse tube with a crystal. Crystal inside. And this is the tiny cap whisker that I can touch the different spots of the crystal to find the sensitive spots. And then I can uh, put it into the fuse tube stand. And then I can uh, adjust the uh, hot spots or the sensitive spots by handling this <coughs> cat whisker. Okay. Besides crystal diode, you can also use the MOSFET. The best one I have found so far is the MOSFET called 3SK-143Q. Uh, nickname is 3DQ. So this, this is how it looks. Uh, it's actually the, the tiny surface mounted uh, IC I sold on the perf board. I've got a blog post that shows you how you can use 3DQ in your crystal radio. 3DQ has the better out uh, performance in weak signal detection. So compared with a diode, if you use a 3DQ, you will hear double the volume. When you have a very weak station, sometimes the diode won't even be able to listen uh, to, to get any audio output out of it. But when you replace the diode with the 3DQ, you will hear something. So 3DQ is, is much better in weak signal. But in terms of strong signals, a diode is still better. It delivers higher output, higher volume output. So to use the 3DQ, we have this four pin. Uh, that we can plug into this socket, which is also, uh, this socket is five pin. Yeah, just check out my block, you see why we need the fifth pin, because we can sometimes put in the uh, diode directly into this fifth pin, or LED. LED can be a good detector too, if you have a very strong signal. It will detect, at the same time it will light up, so it's very interesting. So I usually have a, a marker here that says this is the G1 of the 3DQ. G1 uh, I connect to the ground, so, so it is aligned this way. Okay, when you download the STL file, uh, you'll find that I have a number of different sizes that I prepared for different ferric core. Some are big, some are small, some are high, some are thin. So let me know if you find it. You have got a size uh, that I, I didn't put in. I can create one for you. Uh, it is easy because I created a Fusion 360 file with a parameter driven design that we can just input the height, width, and diameter of the third core. Then it will auto generate the whole design. So when you print it, you print the baseboard, you print the, the knob, the knob is actually a 12 teeth gear. And then this fake 60 teeth gear. Uh, and then the holder for the ferret. And then the uh, curved tube for wiring the coil. So you print it in a uh, four different components. Okay, so let me show you what's at the back. Uh, we have the band switch and uh, the two fixed capacitor. We have the headphone jack, it's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It is a mono one because crystal radio doesn't support stereo. And we have this uh, bypass capacitor. It's used to filter the high frequency. I use um, 
3,300 PF. Yeah, just to balance between the lower value we need for a diode, which is 2,000 PF, and the higher value we use for the uh, VDQ, which is 4,700 PF. It's just a trade-off between these two instead of uh, making another switch to switch between the two. So it actually won't impact it so much, but uh, having 3,000 PF will be enough. Then this is the five-pin socket that we use to connect the VDQ and the diode. And then there are the terminals from the field stand at the top and the bottom. So soldering according to the circuit diagram I show you, and you'll get this one. So I tune the uh, teeth such that uh, it will not be too hard to turn. This will be a 5 to run reducer because this knob has 12 teeth and this big coil has uh, 60 teeth. So it's 5 to 1 ratio reducer. Okay, I'll do some testing and uh, show you how it works. Most of this information is available in my blog. Uh, you can get the link to download this design as well as the circuit diagram and I'll give more detail to explain the circuit in my blog. So this will be a good weekend project for kids and adults. Hope you like it. Thank you. Hello, this is Billy. I am now doing the field testing at my usual spot in Samjiang uh, in Hong Kong. Uh, the weather is very nice today and we have a good sunset. Uh, this is close to the airport. You can see the planes coming and going. And then there's the famous Qinghua Bridge that links up to the airport. The airport is uh, over there. And a lot of people are fishing today. It's a public holiday. So let me go back to my crystal radio being tested. Uh, this is the standard testing platform that we have. high rise tripod and a 1.8 meter antenna, telescopic antenna. So I mounted in this testing tray. Uh, let me start the testing. So we'll be testing the variometer radio today and all the testing done by me is done through this uh, transformer. It's just a step down transformer to match the impedance of the iPhone. So. I will be able to listen and monitor the radio through this earbud. It's a 500 ohm high impedance earbud. And then the other end uh, of this transformer will be plugged into my iPhone directly to the mic jack. So there's no amplification, it's just here directly from the output of the crystal radio. So let me plug it in right now. And you won't hear me talking anymore, but only the radio. The symptoms of COVID-19 can be mild. Don't go to work or school if feeling unwell. Wear a mask and consult a doctor promptly. Ask doctors at accident and emergency departments. Health. Return the specimen to a designated collection point or use the door-to-door -door specimen collection service for a fee. Test promptly for early detection. Hi, it's Nikki and Simi. BBC Minute. Hashtag Trump has COVID, top global trend. Yeah, the big story this president. people with mild symptoms. And it's hashtag New Music Friday. Blackpink and Shawn Mendes amongst those with new stuff out. 0959G, BBC Minute.
新的音乐时代，古老的动人旋律，民歌，人与自然之间最美。